Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Planet Coaster 2 on-ride photos from this into this. Let's get straight into it. So if you didn't know, Planet Coaster 2 have recently added on-ride photos to the game, which is really cool, but in reality, you're stuck with this. You can't add your own overlays to the Planet Coaster 2 on-ride photos, but you can add them to the TV screens. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the on-ride photos and completely transform them to make them look really cool and give them a really cool overlay to sell to your guests. But enough being said, let's get straight into it. Step one, you need a photo. You need to find somewhere on the ride where you would want your photo to take place and then take a screenshot of that place um, so it looks like it's taken from a ride photo perspective. And then drop this into Photoshop Canva, whatever you need to edit photos. I know Photoshop is not very accessible, but any online free service that you can find will probably work the same. And there you go, you're done. I'm kidding. But while we have the photo here, let's add some motion blur to it. Like I said, I'm doing this in Photoshop. I don't know how the other softwares compare, but if you can add motion blur, great. It makes the photo look nice and quick, but if you can't do it, no worries. It'll probably look fine anyway. Step two. I think it's a good idea for on-ride photos to add the main thing your riders look at when they get on the ride. What is the biggest part around your ride that you can add to the photo? Disney call this a weenie. Um, it basically means big main center point that you look at. But in this case is the barrel. The ride is called Barrel Blast. I need to add a barrel to the on-ride photo. So that's what I've done there. And the photo is being taken on the launch. So it makes sense to be launched out the barrel and have the barrel in the photo. You get what I mean. So yeah, step two, add a main centerpiece and it should look pretty cool. I'm also gonna add a nice little sunset to the photo because it looks better than a blue background. And also the whole Wild West theme is quite orange. So if I can add more orange in the photo, it will look good all together. Step three is to add all the little details and I'm not gonna call them steps anymore because I, I don't want to. Sorry. On the side of the barrel there is a little black hole that you can see that I filled in black because you could see inside the launch and it looked weird on a photo. But I thought instead of having a black photo why don't I put an explosion in there? It is barrel blast after all. It's themed after a TNT barrel exploding so why not put an explosion in there? And yeah I think it just adds a little detail to the photo. I mean it looks a bit goofy but at the end you can't really tell um, and when people are looking at the photo for a long time They'll be like, hey, I got exploded out of the barrel. I can relate to this. Another detail I want to add are these little sparks that are flying with the train through the launch. I think it looks cool. Um, again, add something to the ride. It's a little bit cosmic rewindy where there's a lot going on. But yeah, I think it, 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 it looks cool. I don't know what just happened. We're also going to add a black shadow to the underside of the tunnel just to make it a little bit more dark and mysterious. How do you get shot out of the barrel? Oh! No, you're gonna have to ride it to find out. But this also splits up the ride photo from the background and the foreground. So I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm talking about, but it looks cool. As you're getting blown up at about 60 miles an hour, it needs smoke. You need smoke in the photo. So I added smoke to the foreground to add it, give it a little bit of texture, make it a little bit nice. And as a rule of thumb for all on-ride photos, I feel like they really need to be over-designed. I feel like I've come back from Florida and every ride photo I had is so over the top and extra. So I feel like for this one, one, I really need to go over the top and add so many details that definitely aren't needed but if you can put the smoke in it goes a long way so you know what add some smoke there we go if you've seen any video from Liberty Lagoon on the channel you will know that there is a lot of ropes in the area so why not add the ropes to the on-ride photo again it's just a little detail that fills in the corner makes it look all comprehensive and stuff like that that's probably not even the right word to use but yeah this is a long way of saying I've added a rope um, <laughs> that's it really. Next up is a very small detail, but I've added the word TNT to the barrel and the logo for Barrel Blast on the front of the train. Very small detail that not a lot of people will notice, but like I said, over design everything and there'll be something to look at every time you look at the on-ride photo. But yeah, little small detail on the ride photo. Bish bash bosh. And we're coming near the end. It's almost done. The on-ride photo is almost done. The last little detail I want to add is glow. Do you remember that goofy explosion that I was talking about like two minutes ago? It's got some glow now. Adding glow makes everything seem a little bit more realistic and all the light things in the photo that should emit light in real life. Emit life, what? Emit light on the photo. Um, so we've got a little bit of lens flare on there and yeah, it brings it all together. And there's two things left to do once we've done that. First of all, we need to put a little camera raw filter on there. If you don't know what a camera raw filter is, me neither. It just makes it look a little bit cooler. And finally, we need to add the thing that every theme park in the world does so you don't illegally take a photo of your on-ride photo. 
we smack a watermark on there. And there we go, you have your finished on-ride photo for Planet Coaster 2, but there is still one more thing that you can do to make it look a little more dynamic and less boring. But you are gonna need a video editing software for this. I'm so sorry, stop booing at me, please stop. But as you have the template for your photo, what you could do is take screenshots of different trains that pass through so you can have different people on the ride photo so it's not the same photo on every single screen and what you can do is take that photo into Premiere Pro or any editing software and basically have the photo show for like 10 seconds then do a little frame of black and then pick the second photo um, and show that for another 10 seconds and it basically will scroll through all the photos um, and it will look like a real screen when the photos update when people get off the ride I think that's pretty cool and something else you can do is put the watermark on there but make it move um, so you're definitely not scamming your guests as they leave so there we go that is the on ride photo for barrel blast complete let me know what you think down below and this doesn't apply to on ride photos you can apply it to anything in life just start with a base coat layer it up in life <laughs> what am i saying there was a whole live stream of me doing this for the, my previous ride mechanica if you want to go check that out in real time um i prefer this one a lot more it's a lot more cool i think it, it looks better in my opinion and i did try the on ride photo with a logo but I, I feel like it complicated the whole thing didn't look very good so that's why I didn't. But let me know down below if this helped you out. And if you do end up making your on-ride photo, send, send it to me on Instagram, Twitter, whatever you want. Let me know and I'll look at it and I'll go, that's really awesome. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.